I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. This is Jon Snow's sword from Game of Thrones. This is a great historical piece. This was made as a three-core Damascus, almost Viking-type sword blade, and I brought in a expert, uh, Casey Lund, who has made hundreds of these. We started off with uh, 1075 and 15 and 20 bandsaw blades. We did a 11-layer laminate. This is a piece of 1075 steel. This is a section of a very big bandsaw blade, so we'll take six layers of 1075 and five layers of uh, 15 and 20. So we'll do three bars like this. I'm going to clamp these together, kick weld them up, and then this will be uh, put in the forge and forged out into a solid piece. Once they were a solid homogenous billet, we drew that out to half inch long onto the power hammer and then brought them over to the post vise and did a really tight twist throughout. Two of the three bars were twisted to the right and the other bar was twisted to the left. At that point, they were brought back over to the power hammer and then those three bars were welded back together to make the triple core. We did that and welded those links on either side of it and then forged all of those 45 pieces of metal together to make just the blade. That was about an 18 hour day, starting in the morning, laying out everything and forging that together. When we finished uh, doing that, I did a cut in here with the bandsaw, here and here, to give it that shape. And then we forged those together to give it this effect. This blade will probably be an inch and three quarter wide at the tip and about two and a quarter inches wide at the hilt and it'll be 36 inches long. I ground the outside edges with a 10 inch contact wheel for the hollow grind on the cutting edges. Brought it down to 120 grit, which is the finer grit I bring it to prior to heat treating. We put it into the heat treating ovens at 1550 degrees, quenched it in oil to harden it, and then tempered it back down. So it's a very resilient, springy, light, tough blade. Then we etched it using ferric chloride to bring out the pattern in the blade, and it's uh, a very beautiful piece. It came out really nice. So that's about the extent of the blade. The hilt I forged from a cast ingot of bronze. Forged that to shape, did a little bit of hand hammering over the horn of the anvil, shaped it up on the belt grinder, and then milled a slot using the vertical milling machine to accommodate the tang. The pommel on this one, I had Karen Cope sculpt this out of a different material than we've normally shown. This is Chavant, it's a type of carving clay. She put all the details in the wolf head skull, carved that in Chavant, and then we did an RTV silicone mold. Cut that mold apart, poured wax in there, sprued up the wax. Poured sort of a liquid slurry of investment over the top and then when that dried, we melted the wax out of there and heated it up to the point that we could put it onto the vacuum casting table with molten bronze being poured in the top. The bronze pommel came out pretty nice. We had Alicia detail that and then we polished everything up. The grip was made with a block of African black wood, which is kind of a rosewood that really kind of showcased the look pretty well. That was sanded down to about a 600 grit and then polished on the buffing wheel. I cut some rubies and cut one end of the point off to make it a teardrop using the lapidary machine. And then the last thing we did before assembly on this was hit the pommel with a white ivory bone colored bake on resin enamel. And it came out beautiful and was balanced and a great piece.
in the game of YouTube, you either subscribe or you die. Click that button. To check out our version of Jamie Lannister's sword, our first episode ever, click here.